Hello everybody, it's Sanier, Engineer, MBA and Investor and in today's video I want to talk about ARK Invest, why we should not be sleeping on ARK Invest when it comes to CRISPR, when it comes to genomics as a whole and biotech, the sector has a whole. But before we do that, before we jump into today's video, you guys know the drill, like this video, smash that like button, destroy that like button, really does help the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell for our videos to get to you faster. So in my last video two days ago, no video yesterday, I was on the road coming back to Montreal. Um, two days ago, I covered some trades, some recent trades of this week from ARK Invest. Uh, yesterday, which is the last trading day for this week because it is the long weekend. Happy Easter weekend, of course, to everybody that is watching. Hopefully you guys are going to have some beautiful time with your family and friends and really have some time off with work, just relax. Uh, but coming back here to my point here, yesterday, ARK Invest trade had a couple of trades here. If you take a look at here, combine um, in across all their portfolio, they had a couple of good buys, Beam Therapeutics, a lot of Beam Therapeutics here, NTLA, a lot of NTLA, Beam Therapeutics, more Beam Therapeutics than other portfolios. So don't forget, it's not just ARC Genomics, there's RKK, there's RKQ, there's RKW. I mean, it's just, you know, they have so many portfolios. And at this point, honestly, I just think it's just an excuse for them to have more than just 10% per fund per portfolio. Um, but basically here, you can clearly see they made a couple of buys here since yesterday and this trend has been going throughout the week. I honestly think ARK Invest after this week, they're back in the business, they're back in the buying spree. I think a lot of people, a lot of people have been sleeping on ARK Invest. I think people forget ARK Invest, you know, I think a lot of newcomers, especially people that started trading during the pandemic or maybe when a little bit after the pandemic started, uh, they forget how influential ARK Invest has been, right, to the markets, to retail investors. I mean, there was a time, you know, all these big, big players like Fidelity and, 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 and Morgan Stanley, all these, these big players, you know, they never, never looked at technology the same lens that ARK Invest did. ARK Invest went on and obviously they made a big bet on Tesla and it's been successful so far and we have no reason to believe it won't be successful in the coming years. But ultimately, ARK Invest has to deliver on other bets. And one of the other bets, of course, like I covered in the last video, is, is Teladoc, right? And Teladoc is just one of many. There's Block, right? There's Coinbase, there's Roku, there's Zoom, there's Unity. Of course, there's CRISPR companies like CRISPR Therapeutics, NTLA, Beam Therapeutics, that all three hold their top 15 position. And then the 16th position, we have Fate Therapeutics. So, they're clearly big on genomics, right? I know a lot of people don't consider Teladoc as a genomics company, but look, guys, they keep saying Teladoc is a genomics company. It's their largest holding in the genomics fund, and it's the top two holding across all their portfolios. So clearly, uh, whatever they're saying has some money back to their statement. Now, I do want to remind the viewers that ARK Invest has always been behind genomics. I mean, they were, in my opinion, uh, one of the first people in this space, I think uh, one of the big institutions in this space anyways, and I would not lie to you. I mean, I got involved in this space years ago because of Frank Invest, because of what they were doing, because of the podcast they were releasing, because of the articles, because of these types of reports and the big ideas 2022. You can clearly see here dozing versus cost has been drastically changing, right? With CRISPR, cost has gone down, time has gone Delays have gone down, you know, the entry of barriers have gone down. So clearly CRISPR revolutionized the world in 2012 when Jennifer Downer released her paper and then shortly after when uh, Dr. Zhang released his uh, paper on eukaryotic, eukaryotic cells with CRISPR, basically on human cells, proving that CRISPR works on human cells. And of course, Downer had released her paper just after a few weeks after that, and obviously there's a whole legal battle ongoing about all of that, but for now, that's where it stands. And clearly here, ARK Invest expects that genome editing and genome therapy companies will reach 1.1 trillion. If you take all these public companies right now, and of course, you don't assume other players to enter, we do suspect Mammoth to IPO, we do suspect Prime to IPO at some point, by 2026, I would say only Mammoth. I don't think Prime is going to go public, honestly, at that point. But that's just my opinion. Uh, I might be very, very wrong. 
Um, but just the way being Therapeutics is behaving, and there's no reason for them to go public by 2026. But I know Mammoth will definitely go public just by what we've been seeing so far. Again, I don't have inside information. This is not inside information. This is just speculation from my end. But just the fact they hired a CFO, a COO just recently, and obviously someone that's well-seasoned veteran in the space of going public. So clearly they have a footstep in the right direction, in my opinion, Mammal going IPO. But my point here bringing this up is that with all the current CRISPR companies we have, and you probably eliminate companies like Graphite Bio, in my opinion, they'll be either bought out or I think they'll just be bought out. Uh, and maybe in Verve Therapeutics, something will happen with them. Um, but if you don't assume dilution of those companies, I mean, we're looking at 20x, 40x, 50x for all these CRISPR companies, right, to reach that trillion market cap. And I want to remind you guys that ARK Invest made these bold statements in 2018, 2019. And people were saying uh, Kathy Woods and the team at ARK were crazy. And of course, lo and behold, today, we don't think they're crazy about Tesla, but we do think they're crazy about CRISPR and genomics. But I don't think so. I think they're playing the long game. I truly believe that. Last week trading, is, well, this week that just ended, literally proves their thesis statement on NTLA, on Beam Therapeutics, on Invite on DNA, on the, all these genomics companies. I wish they would buy more Teladoc to sort of get that Teladoc company as the number one holding. I think it would be a huge statement, but I can't see Tesla being dethroned from their portfolio because of what Tesla has done for this company, for ARK Invest as a whole. But again, ARK Invest has a duty to their shareholders, not necessarily picking the highest high rising stocks, although they could be mutually inclusive as well. So. I'll end this video like this. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think about ARK Invest, about the latest move and about their view in CRISPR and genomics. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Have a beautiful Easter weekend and I hope you guys have a beautiful time. Thank you.